Not too long ago, I posted a YouTube video of the first version, which many people already downloaded the files and made one for themselves. This system has to be mounted on the back of the Vorin 2.43D printer, and its job is to expel printing fumes out of your printer. And this video is to show you how to make one for yourself. In the download, you will find everything that you need to build one for your printer, and you can even edit the model yourself. And because I modeled it using Shaper 3D, you will also get the file in Shaper 3D format. This time, I really wanted a sleek and rounded design. During the 3D modeling, I kept on thinking of Ferrari cars. Probably, it is because I have two existing printers in Ferrari colors. We will need 10mm Bowden couplers here. By using this M10 tapping bit, we can slightly start off the thread within the hole. We will not tap all the way in, because a tight fit is required. This is just to start the threads. With a wrench, we can now easily force the coupler in. This system allows two different filament into the chamber, which is extremely convenient during filament changes. To apply the magnets, we will use a dab of superglue. During this section, we will need to observe the polarity of the magnets carefully. Heat set inserts will be used here, for all the fastening options. All Vorin users will already be very experienced in using the soldering iron. This part is individual, but I like to use my piece of scrap aluminum block to push the heat set in. This method makes it flush to the surface, and the aluminum will remove the heat quickly, and therefore we can work much quicker. After inserting the heat sets, the main body is completed. We will need to prepare the fan next. Just like the first version, we will be mounting the fan using a magnetic plate. Once again, take note of the polarity, because if we get one wrong, we will need to redo the whole part again. For your peace of mind and sanity, I highly recommend silent fans like Noctua. I used many different fans, and most of them sound like jet turbines. Noctua fans are pricey, but for your mental well-being, you should consider it. Both sides of the fan will receive heat set inserts, to accept the magnetic fan plate, and also the funnel. From here, you can see that the fan can be detached easily, which is one huge critical factor during maintenance. A 3D printer is like a car. Parts do break down, and regular servicing is required. Having magnetic assembly will make your life so much easier later on.
This part is an additional mount, the secure the system to the printer. Due to different thicknesses of acrylic back panels, I had to include some tolerance to the design. You will get to see how this will work later on during assembly. After this step, we are almost ready to mount it to the printers. To get ready for assembly, we shall put on the hammerhead T-nuts first. I am not sure about your opinion, but for me, this design is so much more stunning than the previous version. Let me know in the comments what you think about this design. Now that everything is assembled, we are ready to install, which means, we will need to remove the setup from the printer. Alright, now we can start the assembly. The cable from the camera will be slotted into this little notch. By fastening the attachment plate to the printer, it should already hold the system up. These two spots are normally where you will find gaps. Slowly wriggle the parts until there are no gaps. The Bowden tubes can be inserted now, protruding into the printer chamber. Even before securing from inside the chamber, this part is already tightly sealed. The wires on the Noctua fans are not yet suitable for plug and play. Furthermore, these fans come in 3-pin and 4-pin configuration, and for the purpose of this video, I purchased both versions to demonstrate to you. The colors of the wires are confusing, but if you study this diagram, you will know which wires to use. We will only need two wires, one for 12 volts, one for ground, and now we can crimp them up. If you are unsure which pin goes into which side of the connector, just follow the previous setup and you won't go wrong. These Noctua fans are 12 volts fans. They are not available in 24 volts, that is why we will need to do some adjustment to the Octopus mainboard. I located the plug of this fan, and simply by changing the jumper slot, the voltage is now 12 volts. Your mainboard may not be the same. Check your manual first before attempting this. Right now, the fans can be hooked up to the printer. Immediately after this, I set the fans to 100% in fluid, to make sure everything is working. And once I'm sure of that, the tubes can be hooked up. This is the master exhaust box for my 3D printer rack. I am hooking up the exhaust system to the rack, which is capable of holding 6 printers at the same time. In my YouTube channel, you will be able to find the videos to my 3D printer rack build, and at the time of this recording, part 4 of the build series is being edited. These funnels and tubes will not need any ring clamps. The heat passing through will weld the connection permanently together. And I already color coded all the printers accordingly, so the funnels will always be in the correct place.
Before you carry on, do not forget to tighten these two bolts. And if you are wondering how strong the exhaust is, this is how it looks. If you do not have a printer rack like mine, don't worry. You can place multiple spools on top of your Vorn printer, and your print can start right away. But for me, I like to place filament on top of the rack, and feed it down into the printers. To get the entire system hooked up to the window, we will need one more connection. And this portion belongs to my 3D printer rack's master exhaust box. It contains another fan, to collectively push printing fumes, directly out of the window. And because of this system, the air in your room will be breathable. Meantime, there must be reasons why you like this system. Please head to the store and get it now. And in the next videos that I am working on, you will see the 3D printer rack in operation. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my channel.